Hey DIYers, in this video I will talk about the different styles of banana plugs and speaker terminals so you can choose the ones that you want for your own speaker cable builds. A little while back I, I made my own DIY video how to make uh, these speaker cables and if you haven't seen it please check it out. Uh, but it took a while to kind of choose uh, the correct uh, speaker terminals or the banana plugs that I went with and uh, I went ahead and I bought multiple different types uh, just to kind of show you uh, what's available out there why I made some of the choices I did and hopefully you can make uh, the best choice for your speaker builds uh, later down the line so in this video I will do an overview of each of the different types of uh, connectors that I have selected how they terminate how to install them uh, what wire size they'll take how well they're made and at the end I'll go through the top three favorite ones that I have from this selection. So let's, uh, let's dive into it. So here are the eight types of plugs that I have uh, chosen. Some of them are pretty similar, uh, but there's uh, quite a bit of differences in uh, a lot of them. Let's start with the uh, tips. So these are typical uh, banana plugs here, and uh, there's a difference between these two styles here. I've heard them referred to as uh, lantern type, uh, the ones that kind of have like big leaves around. And these I heard them as referred to as uh, tine types, like Parts Express would refer to them as nine tine. And these are the tine ones because they have all these tines kind of going around them. And this is a BFA, British Federation of Audio Connector, uh, which has kind of like these teeth here and, it, and it's, it's a, bit, a little bit different. And the last two here are uh, locking types uh, banana plugs. You use these uh, screws, kind of like you screw them in and they expand at the tip and they kind of lock in place uh, once you insert them. So these are kind of the basic styles in here and they all have different features still. Their bodies are different, uh, the way you connect the wires are different to each one of them. It's kind of tough to decide which one is the best one for your application. So I'll just go over them all, each one of them and uh, show you the features. One of these uh, connectors will come in all sorts of different shapes and types. Some of them uh, you can solder, some of them you uh, compression with a thumb screw in the back. Some of them have uh, little screw holes to be screwed in. Also there are uh, other styles as well such as spades that I have in here. I don't necessarily like the spades but they're a very good option as well if you kind of like this style. As well as uh, pins, very thin kind of pin looking extrusions on these uh, plugs. And I've seen another style where they have kind of like a wire hanging out at the tip of them. DIYers, before I review uh, the first plug, which is the seawall plug, I want to advise you that I think I got a bad batch uh, of plugs and this is what happened to them. Pulled them out, the tip kind of came off. Happened to uh, two of them. Not very happy with that. I went to the Amazon reviews, uh, which is about 2,000 of them. There is a couple of folks that has happened to. Uh, maybe three or four reviews out of those 2,000 uh, reviews. So, looks like it doesn't happen often. However, uh, I went ahead and I bought myself another plug from Monoprice. Almost exactly the same, it's slightly different. It's definitely mechanically different, I think the shoulder is bigger, uh, these lantern styles are, are tighter. Also, I tried to give it a pull test, I, I couldn't yank them out, I either got a bad batch, but I'm gonna recommend the Monoprice ones. I'll go ahead and review um, the Seawall plug, uh, but I'm gonna go with the Monoprice ones, and I kinda like their their shell as well. It's uh, nice and black. It's easier to see. These I'm gonna probably uh, still use uh, and I'm just gonna give them a pull test and see if they uh, stay. See this one is uh, seems like it's fine. So with that being said, let's go into it. All right, in uh, no particular order, let's start with the Seawell plug here. This is the one I use in my speaker cable build. So it's got a aluminum metal housing here that you can unscrew. Here is the main banana plug in here and it is the lantern type tip and as well it has two screw for compression uh, insertion of the cable. It's it, it can take a pretty thick gauge in here but you got to be careful uh, even though it can take a very thick gauge like a 10 gauge inside here. Uh, these screws do have a limit and when you put the housing on top uh, obviously these screws will if they pop out from the side, you won't be able to kind of tighten them up. Uh, see, will actually provide me a little screwdriver uh, to actually get these done. So I'll show you how they kind of work. So uh, this is how they kind of come out. And uh, you insert the wire in here, tighten it up, and it will do it. 
there's two screws on each side. A very nice contact with the wire on both ends here, and these screws are pretty thick, made out of brass. The body is pretty solid, as you can see the walls are pretty thick, and I really like them, they kind of have a little bit of heft to them. I really like these style, especially because they have two screws in here to compress them, and they're very easy to assemble. As you can see in my uh, cable building video that I use these guys in. Here you can get an idea of the size, uh, how long these are, and how long the tip is, and how long the body is, and the casing. So the cable entry will be at 4.6 millimeters, uh, but you still have to account for uh, screwing these screws to make sure that you can still slip on the, the cover. Alright, so the next one I have in here is <clears throat> this banana. This is pretty much the most common one you can find pretty much anywhere on I don't know, Amazon, Parts Express, and uh, Monoprice and all that stuff. Uh, any Anywhere, pretty much. Best Buy, <laughs> whatever, different packaging. And they're very cheap. I don't necessarily like them a lot because they kind of come apart in many different ways and they always rattle so uh, the banana tip comes off and that's why you can find them in different styles with pins, uh, wire, banana here so I think that they're very versatile and they're pretty cheap. Uh, they'll do the job but uh, they're not my favorite here. They still have a pretty good body. This is how they kind of unscrew in here. And unlike the uh, other banana in here, you push the wire through. So here's a cable that I built with these uh, guys in here, and you can kind of see. These are always loose. These tips are always loose for some reason. They seem to spin like an inordinate amount of, 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 of leeway. So even though it's super tight here, I seem to be able to spin this. Here's how you install the wire on this particular one. You, you push the wire through and you put it over on top of it and then you uh, take the plug and you close it up. They're pretty cheap, available everywhere and they'll do the trick. Just make sure you install that wire pretty well. But otherwise I don't like how these tips move and they, they never seem to stay even as hard as you tighten them. Here's the size of it, a little bit longer than the other one, about more than half, one and a half inches, 1.75 inches maybe. The entry is yeah, it's about 4 millimeter. you can get in, in a wire in there, which is pretty thick. I think those are 12 gauge wires that I put in there. So it's, uh, it's, it's still put very thick wires in here. This is huge. This is, you can insert another banana in there actually. Um, that's how you can tell how big these are. I think wire size would not be an issue really with a lot of these connectors. Here's a third type that I really like actually. This one I like particularly because it has these tines here, they call them or nine tines they call them, eight tines, these little uh, rivets here, they're a little bit different than the lantern style. This plug is very solid, you can still find them in a lot of places on I don't know, the, big, the big retail stores, Amazon, Sparks Express, blah blah blah, and you can find them with these tines here. And what I really like about this guy is that it's got multiple entries in here uh, for cable, and here's the, the main entry for the cable, you put in, insert the cable in here, or in the back as well kind of like the other plug but uh, check this out so this is the you can insert the wire in here and kind of compress it and it's got this little extra piece in here that compresses into inside so um, they're pretty well constructed it's solid uh, throughout it's pretty hefty and I like it the most actually uh, for very quick home theater installations I will show you how the wire inserts right now so you unscrew this one in the back, you can insert your wire in here. You don't have to go all the way through actually, I like to not go all the way through and sometimes I like to bend it. So not a lot of wire shows up from it, so I like to just kind of get it in there. Compress it as much as you can, you can tighten these up very well. And you can kind of see how it squeezes the wire in here very well and it makes a super tight connection and it's almost impossible to pull out. This is These are one of my favorite ones, honestly. Uh, and this still leaves you the back of the plug in case you want to kind of buy a wire or something like that. Uh, and this is conveniently with a um, banana size. You can kind of put it in there. So I really like this one, very solid body. It's got the nine tines here, which I think it, they have a lot more connection, a little bit better than the, the lantern ones. I think it's more of a personal preference at this at, for these tines here. But I think they, they make a much more solid plug. But this is uh, one of my favorite uh, quick connects uh, out there. 
Here's the size for comparison. It's uh, closer to almost two inches. It's extremely th big hole here. Five millimeters is this hole here. You can insert very thick wires in here. And this is the standard banana size in the back. So about four millimeters. I can it'll accept a lot of wire in here. Right, so next one in line is <clears throat> not a pretty typical banana connector in here that you'll find lots of places in here as well. Uh, this one will come with lantern type or these tines here. However, this this one in particular is a little shorter than the other ones, uh, shorter than I like it to. So here it is, what it looks like without the little shroud here. It's not a shrink tube. This guy is just plastic. You can kind of take a look at this guy. So it's a pretty short body. It's one of the shorter ones, uh, one and a quarter maybe at best. It's a pretty thick hole in the back, but in overview it's got a little tiny hole, tiny screw here, a lot smaller than uh, these guys here. And it's a, it's a little smaller as well. Um, so it's it's not as hefty. I thought it was going to be a direct comparison between the Seawell and this one, but they're not. Let's say the take out the shroud. The bodies are kind of like the same, but this one's longer, much more heftier. You can kind of see the thickness of the walls here, so it's a little cheaper. So this was definitely on the cheap end, even though it has the my preference of these tines here compared to the lantern. But uh, I think it's uh, it's not as great. It's got a little tinier screw, and uh, it's only got one screw. Not too crazy about this one in terms of making lots of contact. It's a good option. It will accept a pretty wide range of uh, cable in here, so let's check it out. 3.95 millimeters, so about a banana size, 4 millimeter. It, but it's still, you need to account for the screw uh, sticking out if you're going to insert a very thick wire. So it's, uh, say it's okay if it's cheap enough. So just in case, just want to show you all um, in here is my gauge meter. Uh, 8 gauge, 10 gauge, 12 gauge, 14 gauge, 16 gauge uh, wire, right? So let's say we take uh, this one for example. Just to give you a reference of the, the millimeters and gauges, uh, what kind of gauge wire you can do. Uh, 10 gauge is a 2.59 millimeter. Uh, we measure this about 4 millimeter a hole here. Uh, so <laughs> 8 gauge is 3.26 millimeters. So huh, what's a 4? Four millimeter. What's that in gauges? <laughs> Five, four, <laughs> six gauge. So this is a very, very thick wire. Um, I haven't seen speakers with such big wire eight gauge. Um, so all these so far will accept very, very thick wire. Uh, you just gotta have to make sure you account for the screw holes and the screws being uh, inserted in there all the way through, so you can close them up. So DIYers, thanks for watching the first half of the video uh, where I went through the first four plugs for your speaker terminals. I hope you find it insightful. Hopefully you can make a decision for the one that works best for you. So this is part one. I hope you subscribe and follow me and I'll plan on releasing the second video in about uh, two weeks and to finish off the rest of the, the plugs here and give the conclusion of what I think about uh, the whole series here and which ones I like the most. Thank you and I'll see you next time.